still there? To delete this message, press 7 to save it in the archives. Press 9 to hear more options. Press 0. What are you talking about? A chest rig is a fast, maneuverable alternative to your typical load-bearing tactical vest. It combines the tactical usability and carrying capacity of a vest with the lightweight construction and strapping system of popular sports bra technology to- Hey! What? That's not what it says. Now shut up and do your job. It'll pay you to goof off. Alright, my copy doesn't say the thing about the sports bra, but you get the idea. The One Tiger's Vulture is a pre-made chest rig that offers a low-profile build with plenty of storage options and adequate back and bust support, all for the very appropriate price of $55.99. The advantage of a chest rig like the Vulture versus something like my typical plate carrier is weight. Wearing a big heavy plate carrier can get old fast while moving around on the airsoft field, especially during the summer months when heat becomes an issue. Chest rigs like this aren't made to carry ballistic plates, so they are completely focused towards maximizing gear carriage while minimizing weight and material. As you can see, the Vulture covers less of your body, so you lose some of the protective nature of a full-size plate carrier. But if you're like me and you've been shot so many times that all of your nerve endings are fried, that shouldn't really matter. It's made of licensed multi-cam Cordura fabric, so it's not going to disintegrate if you rough around with it or throw it in the washing machine. The overall construction feels great. It isn't flimsy, the seams feel tight, and the pouches are well put together. The Vulture is a pre-made tactical rig, meaning that all of the pouches on here are not removable. Aside from the molly straps on the command panel, this rig isn't really meant to be customizable on its own. It's purpose-built for carrying all the gear you'll need on the field but it's not necessarily intended to have stuff switched around. At this price range, it has everything you'll need built into one package. The Vulture's central command panel is perfect for carrying tools, batteries, a radio, or other frequently used items that need to be accessed quickly on the airsoft field. When fully unzipped, the pouch's front is held up by two pieces of retaining fabric, guaranteeing that your stuff isn't going to spill all over the place while you're yanking stuff out when the BBs are flying. The Vulture has two double pistol magazine pouches to the right and left of the command panel, allowing you to carry a total of eight pistol magazines right out of the box. Wow, eight whole magazines, that's an obscene amount of ammunition. Obviously, you can use these to carry other things too, like tools and flashlights. And just so all of my high speed marksmen out there know, these actually fit VSR 10 magazines quite nicely. I stuffed mine full of speed loaders so that you can get a better idea of the kind of storage I'm talking about here. On the front of all of these pouches, you have velcro panels for patches and identification. It has two shoulder straps and one torso strap with your typical plastic buckles. All of the straps are fully adjustable, meaning this should fit you regardless of how thick you are. I found the best way to wear this rig is with the shoulder straps making an X across your back, as wearing it with the straps going over your shoulders makes it liable to fall off. In typical One Tiger's fashion, the Vulture has four built-in magazine pouches with adjustable bungee retaining straps. These will fit pretty much any kind of standard 5.56 or 7.62 style magazine, which is dope for me because I use a lot of different airsoft replicas. As I talked about a bit in my One Tigers JPC video, I'm not the biggest fan of retaining straps like this because they make it hard to reload with one hand, though I found that I could return magazines to my rig during a reload with relative ease. Speed that up in post. Huh? What is that? As I talked about in the JPC video, I'm not a huge fan of these bungee cord things. They're adjustable, um, they do their job, but it makes it kind of hard to reload. I'd prefer like a thank you. <laughs> I'm trying not to get my shadow on it. Hey, it's your it's your resume. This is your it's your script. Good luck trying to get another job in this town, sweetie. We're freaking corporate, baby. We're the best of the best. Don't fucking me with your boots. To voice over it. I'm not just voicing over it. People need to know that I'm a real guy. I'm a Isn't your whole shtick that you're not a real guy? <laughs> Precise 
story narrative that we've constructed over the last two years. Do you hear what I'm saying? This isn't going in the video. This is being cut. This is being cut. I will send a strike force to your house this evening. And they will put you through memory resequencing. Do you know what that means? The first thing I noticed about the Vulture is that once you have it adjusted for your body, it is comfortable. Everything is kept close to your body and ready for use. Given that all of the pouches are sewn into each other, there is very little equipment movement when sprinting or just running around. Another thing I like about the Vulture is the weight. It weighs virtually nothing when it's unloaded, meaning that you can decide how much weight you're willing to carry based on the kind of gear you want to run. You're not limited by the weight of this thing. As I mentioned, the magazine retention straps are a slight hindrance while reloading, but they secure my magazines and are easy to remove. Having four built-in magazine pouches is a great feature. Now, sure, not having to buy mag pouches separately is awesome, but the way they're integrated into the rig makes them extremely low profile. The double pistol mag pouches on either side of the command panel are a little redundant. I don't know anyone that runs eight separate magazines for their sidearm, so I might have gone for a blank section of molly webbing to add a little bit of customization or a dedicated radio pouch. That said, these pouches are versatile despite their size, so as I mentioned, you can always use them for tools or other items that you'll need in the field. And hey, maybe you like the pre-made features of this rig, but still want the protective coverage of a JPC. The rear panel, this webbed plastic thing made to increase friction between your rig and your shirt, can be removed to reveal hook side velcro. So, provided you have a JPC or vest that supports a Velcro chest rig, you can remove the strap system of the Vulture and attach it like this. Icor Field Tactical has a great review of the Vulture on his channel where he demonstrates this. You can check it out in the link below to get a better idea of what I'm talking about. For me, the coolness factor is there. It's small, light, and tactical looking, and fits a high speed, low weight playstyle. If you're a speed-oriented player or just like lightweight gear, this is a perfect fit. Additionally, snipers that are looking to carry their gear but don't want to weigh themselves down with a conventional vest will likely find this to be a good compromise between equipment carriage and protection. You could always wear it under a ghillie suit. And of course, it's multicam, which immediately makes you better at playing airsoft. For $55.99, you get a condensed, lightweight tactical rig with plenty of features to support your needs on the field. With purpose, tactical intention, and a cool look, the Vulture secures itself as an affordable chest rig that's a good balance between storage and weight reduction. While it lacks the customization typically found on tactical equipment, its purpose-driven design is consistent with the playstyle demands of a high-speed player. Now, personally, I can see myself using this rig for CQB or during the summer months when I'm running my M82A1. This is undoubtedly a permanent addition to my gear. In my opinion, I think it contends with other popular chest rig products. Thanks for watching. More corporate content is coming your way soon. As always, stay corporate approved.